Hey, JT. Hey. So we got the rack done. Looks good. It's not real heavy either. All right, so we're gonna slip it into our hitch. All right, it's got a little ball there. And line it up. All right, I can see the hole pretty good. Now, let me show you something they do. It's pretty cool. They give this little bag. Check out this bag. This bag is gonna need to go in your car. It's got all your little goodies in here that you're gonna need. All right, now, what's a little bit odd to me, but I like it, is this is the pin for your hitch. Okay, well, let me show you what I'm talking about. You take this, and slip it through there. All right, you see that? Slip that right through there. This is also your Allen wrench to tighten things down. So you slip it right through there. Get it all the way through there. <laughs> it doesn't look like it belongs there, but it does. Then you get in your bag, you pull out your magic little, check that out. What okay, is that? I don't know what you want to call it, but it's the other side of the hitch that locks it on. Let's see if I can do this it with one hand. It looks like half of a geocache. Yeah, it looks like a little geocache toy, that's right. You take that, it's got the little hole. You push it on there. Boom. All right. It's locked on. Your hitch is locked on. See? It's in there. Boom, boom, boom. Now, what you do after you do that, you start winding this right here. So that's on there. And you start winding it. Turn it. Turn it. And you notice it's tightening over here. Turn it. All right. Still wiggling some. Still wiggling some. Tighten it. Tighten on down. And now... The car's moving, and there's no rattling. It's nice and tight. You like that, JT? Yes, can I try to do it? Yeah, there you go. All right, that's the first cool thing about it. Let's make sure you tighten right there. All right, now, hold on one second. I'll get back with you. Good, so now we wanna lift it up. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to use two hands. It doesn't go that way. Take it, push it down this way. Push it down that way. Right, with one hand, and then you have your other hand over here. Hope you can see both hands. Push down and up. It's really tight. And click. So that's your driving position when you don't have any bikes on there. The Kuwat, looking good. I like it. Got the grease right there. Looks good. Nice and tight. Let me slide over here, buddy. Yeah. All right, now. I know how to get it back down. How do, you, how do you get it down? You push this down. Let's it go down. You use your foot. Yep, you gotta use your foot. Cause it's pretty tight. You might be able to use your hand. And it's down. Okay, now we're gonna see. It should go down even further. Boom, and that's gonna let your bikes fall away. All right, let's get some bikes and load it up. And I'll show you how to do that. Boom. There we go, locked it up in there. Looking good. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Oh, this will be the very first time to put your bikes on. There's one, and you open this up. That's two, and then you wanna push this in right here and pull it all the way up. All right, and it won't come out. But well, be careful now, it's supposed to fit 29ers. So what I did is I brought out Mama's beautiful Trek Marlin 29er. We're gonna stick that right there. And that right there. And then. You tighten it. All right, JT, let me show everybody. Hold on. Okay, put this up. Okay. I was trying to roll forward on me, so that's what the. So you push that back. And kind of get it where you want it. And it says it wants to have at least one inch right there. Get it lined up where you want it. Push it down. Boom, you can put this strap in there. And slip that in there. There we go, and boom, there's your bike, it's in there. 
looks good now let's my biggest curiosity is there going to be enough room for that to lift up so I'll take that bring it down nice and easy now these handlebars are really wide the widest handlebars i've ever seen actually so let's see boom lots of room on that look at that yeah so daddy's bike being on the outside definitely gonna let that work also all right good deal now we want to pick it up pick it up right there jt pick it up use your legs two hands pick it up pick it up uh-oh you're picking the wrong thing up but that'll be okay right here pick right there and help me help me help me three two one and click it there you go good stuff let's load one more bike one pull that back bring that right there now to be honest that looks a little bit fragile right there so you don't want to i don't think you want to cram down real hard be, that looks like a gentle fragile part so be careful there i want that out of the way but it's not going to stay all right let's get the bike and slip that right there and that right there all right so make sure it's in there real good where it's supposed to be and bring it on down boom looks good slip that through there looking good it's so easy even a six-year-old can do it yep looks right so if you want to lower it down again you gotta reach through there this time and a little bit harder but it comes down pretty far there you go so you can open it straight up and it'll lift our straight up good job you want to pick it back up and maybe you just use the bikes let's see here if that's a good idea or not and there you go gotta like the doolittle take this sticker off you want to take that sticker off for us jt yeah all right um and one more thing you want to show everybody so they give you this with it all right so you're like huh what do you do with this i know some of them have them where they're already in here you pull it out you can take this it's uh, it looks kind of long might be long enough i like to get my front tires and i don't know if that's going to be long enough for both front tires i don't see a way to do that i think well maybe so let's see here maybe i can i like to go tires and frame but basically i'll show you an easy way to kind of do this you can just slip it through somewhere like that and then you go like that and this has got just the frames it's not going to protect your front tires and then what's going to happen is and you can play with how the different ways that it goes you just put it in that little hole lock your bikes are locked on there what do you think good cool and i've got a key Okay, it goes in our little bag that's gonna always stay in your car. All right, little set of keys. All right, and that will pop it out. There you go. And then you can undo it. I like how those keys are made. Yep, in the little bag right here. Good stuff. Push that back in there. Let's see here. There we go. Let's Wait, see what we got. So we'll leave that there we got our bag everything so this is our first um hitch bike rack and it looks like it's pretty solid so the bikes are moving a little bit my worry especially on the road bikes is if anything's gonna rub i think i can i don't know if anything's gonna rub so we just gonna push that up i hope it falls up pretty easily i was hoping it'd be more like right here i don't want it rubbing my forks i wonder if it's moving around if it'll start loosening it up yeah you're gonna have to get as close as you can to the fork all right so watch this so we got to get a gap about an inch right there start shaking it's loosening it up so you gotta get it down real good i'm thinking maybe even flatten the tire a little bit 
Daddy, and push that down. Uh, that's my really only worry right there, rubbing right there. I'm thinking maybe even wrapping the fork on something. I'm not sure, but anyways, there you go. It's on there. There's some pretty cool things about it. Hope you like this. All right, let's reverse the process. So get your key out of your bag and we're gonna take our lock off pop that in there and boom let's stick it in there it might you might have to actually when you're sticking it in there there you go all right you've got to make sure that goes that way well that's important there so make sure it goes that way it's locked then you unlock it and it pops back very good all right and then take your chain off of there. Very good. Set that to the side. So, JT, you're gonna get that. So push that and pull it up. Two hands, takes two hands. Push it, pull it up with the other hand. Okay. Now you wanna hold your bike right here. Hold your bike and push in, lift up. Push all the way down, boom. First one is off. There you go, mama. You got the first bite. All right, JT, right here. Use two hands on it. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do before I get back here, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that. Put that so it's not going everywhere. Bring this all the way in. Whoop, and watch out, big boy. And push it like that. Make sure it's hard. All right, keep working on it. So hold the bite with one hand. There you go, up down all right push it in lift up you put lift up buddy there we go boom i got it move your hand move your hand move your hand there we go and boom lift it up come here big boy hold the bike don't let it fall it's mama's bike you got it two hands on it there you go one put that down in there if you like you don't have to Close this right there. Move that out of the way. All right, we'll leave our sticker there. Looking good, everything looks right. Push that down and boom, we're good to go. All right, if you want to take it off, oh, let me get down in here. Check this out. This is really important. That part, it's got the key. Put your key in there and that pops off then you loosen this up all right you were here good take it out that's it i'm gonna leave it on right now just because it looks cool i just got it on there we're gonna leave we even have stickers you want to leave them on or take them off jt um can you leave them on we'll leave them on all right we'll leave them on for a little bit but kuat or kuat yes bike carrier Kuat Sherpa 2.0. I will give you an update in a couple of months after having it and tell you if it's good to go. What would I like to have different? But I think I'm gonna like it. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. We're the family of adventure and we're gonna get there and have some fun. Yeah, with triangle head. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you like this stuff, what do they do, JT? Like and subscribe on the comment <laughs> and marshmallows nailed it. All right, we're the Adventure Family. We'll see you on the next adventure. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot the most important part. Your bag, throw your keys in there, everything else, stick in your glove box. That's where you always have it.